Today I'm going to show you how to animate and export GIF here in Photoshop. So as you can see, the image is low resolution because we are creating a GIF and we don't want to overwhelm the render time here in Photoshop. So I recommend you to decrease the image resolution here at image, image size. And as you can see, I went with 1200 by 776. You can decrease it even more if you like. Another thing is I separated everything. I got all the patterns here and I got the head separated. And here you can see the circles also and the background. Okay, so let's go to the windows. Let's go down, select the timeline. And here we got this little arrow, go to it and select create frame animation and click on create frame animation. And now let's go down to this left corner. You can see this little, little button here click on it, convert to video timeline. And as you can see, we got all the layers here. Now you can also move the timeline up and down. I like to expand it like this so I can see all the layers. Another thing is that I don't know how much seconds are here and I don't know what is going on because the timelines are super short and this area is like empty. So I'm gonna need to expand these all the way out. We're gonna go down here to this handle and I'm gonna pull this handle. And as you can see, it is zooming in the timeline and we can can see the seconds and the frames. So right now it's on five seconds. I'm gonna make the whole thing on two seconds. So I'm gonna select all the layers and just decrease these to two seconds. I'm gonna zoom in even more. And now we're gonna start animating, animate the patterns. As you can see, I got three patterns and I'm gonna make the first one like 15 frames. And I also gonna put the second pattern somewhere here. And the last one, I'm gonna bring it here. And I also gonna activate these patterns. So I'm gonna go to check and I'm gonna bring this here, click on play. And as you can see, it is changing the pattern. Now we're gonna animate the background. I'm gonna click on this little arrow and I'm gonna scroll down here and we got three options. We've got the transform, opacity and style. So I'm gonna bring this back here. I'm gonna go and click on the transform stopwatch. And as you can see, it added a keyframe right here. I'm gonna bring this all the way to the end to the second second and we're gonna animate the background pattern. I'm gonna press Control T so as you can see I got a really wide background pattern because I'm just gonna pull it here so it's gonna animate it like this. I'm gonna double click release as you can see it added another keyframe I'm gonna push it all the way out and if I bring this back you can see it is animating the background. So I'm gonna click on play and it works. And not but least, I'm going to animate the spirals in the eye. And for that, I'm gonna go to the spiral. Let's open up the settings. And as you can see, we got only these settings. We don't have anything for rotation. So what I'm gonna do is go to the layers timeline here. You can right click on, go to no motion and select a rotate. You can choose between clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm gonna go with clockwise and I'm gonna uncheck resize to fit canvas. Click on here. And as you can see, it animated a little bit. It is moving a little, but I'm gonna move it more. So I'm gonna go at the end, where's this keyframe? It's important this line to be on the last keyframe. So I'm gonna press Control T and I'm gonna move this more. I'm gonna double click release and let's see what happens. So this way it starts animating even more. From here, let's click on play. And this is how the full animation looks like. And now we're gonna export this as a GIF. Let's go to file, export, save for web. Click on it, just wait to load up here. And right now it looks kind of messy. So we're gonna need to change the GIF. So if you do it without any ditter, it is going to create this stencil effect. So I'm gonna go to the GIF, but I'm gonna go to 32. So for example, on 32 dittered, as you can see, the information and detail look different at the shading. It looks with dots. You also can change up the resolution here, width and height, and then click on save and just save it. And check this out. This is how the final result looks like. And this is it. Thanks for watching.